This video will explain the reverse outline technique and how you can use it to revise your essays. Reverse outlining is the process of creating an outline from the draft of an essay. It is an effective way to ensure the structure of your essay represents the main ideas you want to communicate to your reader in a logical manner. By removing the supporting ideas and writing in your essay and reducing your draft back to your main ideas only, you can check your work to ensure it demonstrates the points you're trying to make. It can also help you analyze whether or not you need to add more supporting points or evidence. Once you have a complete draft of your essay, take a look at the paragraphs used to create that essay. For each paragraph, try to write the main point or idea of that paragraph. Sometimes, if the topic sentence is well done, you can use the topic sentence because it will adequately reflect the main idea of that paragraph. For example, this paragraph covers censorship in Gilead. It talks about how women are not permitted to read, reading materials are restricted for men, and that the censorship aims to control the flow of ideas. The topic sentence, censorship of the novel in school or anywhere else is incredibly reminiscent of the strict regulations enforced in the Republic of Gilead, effectively summarizes the main idea of the paragraph, which is censorship in Gilead, so I can use it in my outline. Here is an example of a reverse outline. It is made up of the main points of an essay on Margaret Atwood's novel, The Handmaid's Tale. For each paragraph in the essay, you should have a sentence or two to summarize the main idea. Once you've completed the sentences for each paragraph, you should have a condensed version of your essay. If you group the sentences together, you should have an accurate version of the main ideas you're trying to communicate in your essay. If it is not accurate, then you'll be able to identify where the essay is lacking ideas or evidence to further explain the points. You may also find that many paragraphs are making the same point, or that a paragraph in fact makes no points at all. Maybe you've observed that a paragraph is too long, or has two main ideas in it. If that is the case, then you should separate the paragraph into two paragraphs. In this first outline, most of the paragraphs adequately express the points that the essay is trying to communicate, which is that the reception to The Handmaid's Tale strengthens the points made in the novel. Points 2 and 3 relate to how negative male reception to the novel mirrors the attitudes of men in the story. Points 4 and 6 address how doubts that the events in the novel could really happen are similar to the doubt and lack of interest in politics as found in the story. Points 7 and 8 cover censorship of the novel and of books in the story. Point 9 restates the thesis. Point 5 talks about credit cards and does not fit with the rest of the story, so we should consider revising the paragraph. Congratulations! You now know how to use the reverse outline technique to revise your essays. Thanks for watching!